Hi, I'm Stuart. Welcome to Sarnet Television. We're going to be taking a look at a brand new lighthead from Whelan Engineering. It is part of the 400 series linear super LEDs and Chris is going to be taking it apart. Now he's got his screwdrivers out and all the associated tools that he needs to do this job. And we have to be very quiet in the studio because Chris is a prima donna. So <laughs> let's go across to Chris and take a look at that 400 series lighthead. Well, thanks very much, Stuart. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you and your insightful dialect and always keeping me motivated and working hard on my recordings, which unfortunately not as good as Madonna, but just as bright and just as innovative. <laughs> so, a little seriousness with you here now. 400 series super LED lighthead, like we mentioned, from the wonderful folks at Whelan Engineering. Interesting thing with the 400 series here, unlike some of the other larger footprint lightheads, is the front optic lens is removable. With that, you have an incorporated pressure gasket. So when you have the lighthead mounted on your application, whatever it may be, when it's sunk onto the body with four screws, one in each corner, the lens itself, pull some parts off here to show you the compression, will actually compress into the light head. So not really into the light head, but onto the reflector assembly here. So it makes it nice and tight, keeps the inside reflector and inside lens free of grit and grime, and also keeps condensation from working its way into the light head here. The lens itself, really just a cosmetic, because the diodes are what produce the color for the light head. You can either have a clear lens or you can have a color matched lens. Really, the choice is up to yourself for the looks that you're going for on your application. The light head itself gets its linear reference from the fact that the diodes, four of them total, are in a line array in the center of the reflector in the portion of the light head here. The diodes are actually removable. I'll show you that on the back here. There's a total of four Phillips head screws that hold the light and the reflector, well, what's left of it, together. Also, the dot down here covers a factory incorporated hole into the portion of the light head here, which when it's mounted would be the bottom, and it's a Gore-Tex breather. So it allows for airflow inside the light to transfer out the back. Really, that's for the fact that once diodes are on for a bit of time, they get warm, so it helps take the warm or the heat that's produced inside the head, transfers it out the back. Just part of the longevity and the normal operation of your Wheelan Engineering 400 series LED light head. And last screw out of the back there. This is your array for the 400 series light head. Again, better look at the four diodes, happen to be center mounted again in a linear pattern. The unit has an incorporated gasket. So what this does is helps to seal the electronic assembly here into the polycarbonate housing that you see here. So really it's got a footprint, so when it's seated back in, screwed onto the reflector, everything's nice and tight. Again, keeps grit and grime and whatnot from getting into the light head portion. Like some of the other larger footprint light heads from Whelan Engineering, it incorporates the really nice hourglass center optic. Again, it's removable and it's a two-piece segment. So again, you have a top portion, bottom portion. I'll show you the view from the back there as well, so you can see how well the units are beveled. And again, this helps enhance the diode's light so they spread from the bottom, spread from the top to fill the whole lens section here. So what I can do is connect the pigtail on the back here to a ground and to a 12 volt lead source. And I'll show you what the diodes, well, the electronic array here with the diodes looks like without any of the reflector or booster optics added on. So the black trigger will go to the ground. And because this is an amber 400 series head, the lead wire is orange. If it was green, it would be green, blue for blue, white for white, or a conventional red lead if it was a red light head. 
Again, that's something that Whelan likes to do to ID the color of their products for when it's not on and flashing. So apply 12 volts, unit comes live, you can see it's nice and potent. But really, without the reflector, the hourglass, and the lens added, it's not really as potent as it could be. So that's why Whelan, in their craftiness, comes up with this, comes up with these, comes up with this, to make this do a lot more work than it does in this shape. So even to give you a quick reference here, I'll take this, drop this on. Doesn't blind the camera quite as well as it would were it all assembled again with the optics. Go ahead and take the power away, deactivate the unit there. And in case you were wondering, it is completely epoxy sealed. So around the diodes, around the soldering point for the four wire harness, again, that you can see in the center here, and then also the other components that Whelan adds to light up the diodes, make them flash, and also the sync function that this light head offers so you can tie them together for alternating or simultaneous flashing. Before I put it back together here, I'm gonna make sure that the gasket is realigned, well, reseated back into the edge of the housing here. Back in place. Take the electronics portion, reseat it onto the back of the reflector, like you can see here. And again, the teeth here will hold the hourglass portion, again, optic booster. So that'll come back out, these will go in, snapped it back in place. Let's give it a little squeeze, make sure everything's lined up properly. Now with the four screws reseated into the back, the reflector assembly, hourglass, and the electronic board are now one piece. So you can take the gasket incorporated front lens, reapply it over the front there. And then at this point, you put your rubber seal on with your pigtail going through the center. You can then dress it up with either a chrome or a black flange, depending on the choosing that you're looking for for your application, or you can forgo the flange and just mount them on the body right like this. It'll seat nice and smooth with the rubber gasket here. So it works great for front bumpers, rear bumpers, grills, side panels. It's even a popular light head to use on motorcycle boxes. It works great for rear facing and side facing on storage compartments. So the pigtail on the back, again, I will put it to a ground source and to a positive 12 volt source. And again, 12 volts to it, lights the light head up. So you can see it now that with it being back together, hourglass inside, optics in the lens there, give it a much broader footprint. So it really fills up the whole lens here and has a better intensity to it. If I take the white with violet tracing, apply it to 12 volt wire. There it goes. Sometimes these just like to move around on me. Let's take the scan lock, tap it to 12 volt source, and it will advance the flash pattern to the next mode of the light. Now, what's interesting with the 400 series, unlike some of the other bigger ones, is that it offers the sync function, like I mentioned earlier. 
So instead of having a violet wire here for your high-low, it's your sync. So you can take your patterns, again, set them into a phase one or a phase two, if you want to have them going back and forth or together at the same time. Set them both on the same flash pattern, again, with the phase as appropriate, and connect the gray sync wires between the heads. So really nice function to have here. So if you're looking for something bigger than a TIR3, a LIN3, LIN Z6, or an ION, but you want the sync function, the 400 series is a great light head to use in that case. So again, I'll go through a couple more patterns here. And you'll see that several of the patterns look the same every time I tap it. And actually what this is, is it's setting the phasing. So the pattern itself will look the same, but it has a different phase. So for example, out of the package, first flash pattern has phase one, phase two. When you have it on, they're going to look the same. But when you touch the momentary wire, there'll be a quick hesitation. It'll then start flashing, again, that same pattern, but then it'll be in phase two. Again, a few for the flash patterns that it offers. And again, this plastic component here goes on the back of the gasket, seats it against the body, and because it goes in with either four screws or four or bolts, you'll have to drill holes, one for the center pigtail, one for each mounting point. These will then pop into the holes that you'll drill so you don't have any threads strip out on you at any point in the life of the light head on the application. So again, there you have it, a bit of an inside look into Whelan's 400 series Super LED light head. Again, it happens to be amber diodes, clear outside lens. Thanks for spending some time with me here on SirenNet Television. Back over to you, Stuart. Well, thank you, Chris. Um, I don't know what to say after an opening like that, and, but it was very interesting in putting the light together. Chris did a great job. And as for Madonna, well, who knows? She's very pretty, and Chris will have to work on that one. I'm Stuart, and as always, thanks for watching Sarnet Television.